okay? They're asking you to find the equation of each line shown below. So this time you're finding the equation when you're given a graph, okay? To write an equation of a line, what are the two things that you need to find? M, the slope, and we need to know B, okay? Okay, because we need to plug in M and B for Y equals MX plus B. So let's look at A. So two ways that we can find the slope of a line is we can actually count the rise over the run because we know that slope is equal to rise over run or we can use the slope formula. We can find two points on the line and calculate the change in y the values and the change in the x values. So for this one, I'm just going to count the rise over the run, okay? So I'm going to choose two points that are easy to read. So let's choose this point here and this point here, okay? So I'm going to find the rise and run between those two points there, okay? You can follow along in your textbook because it's easier for you to see. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna count how far does this, do these points rise? So from here to here, oops, sorry. From here to here, that jumps how many? Each each uh, dash is, is represents how many spaces? One. So that's one, two, three. Okay, it rises by three. We'll look at this, the scale for the x-axis. What do, does each um, dash represent? How many spaces is this? Zero, one, two. Okay, each space represents a jump of one. So now I'm going to count my run. So from here to here, how many spaces is that? One. one. So the slope of this line, the rise over run, is three over one. Or we can just say m is equal to 3. Is this line positive or negative? Positive. It has a positive slope. Good. Now we have to find the y-intercept. So just look at the graph. Where does the line hit the y-axis? So here's our y-axis. Where does it hit? At 5. At 5? Okay, let's see. I can't really see here. Yes, right here, because I already actually used that point. It hits the y-axis at... Five, okay, and I kind of blocked the numbers there, but that's five, so I know that B is equal to five. I found that M is equal to three. Therefore, what's the equation of this line now that I know the M and the B? Yep. Y equals three X plus five. Y equals three X plus five. Perfect. So if we look at C, this point here is easy to read, okay? And I'll choose this point here. I'm looking for two points that are on like an exact coordinate, not using decimals because it's easier to calculate. What is the rise from here to here? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Now my, is my rise um, positive or negative here? Negative, I'm counting down. Okay, for C, yeah. What about the run? One, two, Three. Would that be positive or negative? It's moving to the right. Positive. So the run is positive three. Therefore, what is my slope? Negative five over three. Just negative five over three. Where does this line hit the y-axis? What is b equal to? Zero. It starts at the origin. So what's the equation? And according to my um, calculations there, I said that the slope is negative. If you look at the graph, does it show a negative slope? Yes, because it's falling to the right. So what's the equation? Y equals negative 5 over 3. Y equals negative 5 over 3. X. Okay. Made with DoodleCast Pro.